Over the Christmas break, there are some great basketball tournaments. Now, the Alaska Yuletide Invitational is one of the best for atmosphere and intensity. Going off tonight, there's legendary coach Bob Foley in St. John's taking on Shrewsbury. Now, Bob Foley, the imposter in the St. John's student section. Second quarter, John West to Nate Hatala. Shrewsbury down by five. Phil Smyrnios, alley -oop to West. Colonials down by three. Prompts Bob Foley to call a timeout. As well as student Bob Foley to call a timeout. Joan Foley, that's Lacombe's idea. He's fresh. Nathan Bangadozu with the three. St. John's up by six. Bobby Duquette to Bangadozu. Popcorn for the sophomore. Then it's TJ Power, the talented freshman with a sweet feed to Bangadozu. Two of his 18 points. St. John's is up by 10. Duquette to Power. Smooth. St. John's up 12. Third quarter. Duquette with a deep jumper. He had 18 points on the night. St. John's up by 16. Cole Fisher. Beyond the arc. Colonials hanging tough. St. John's gets the win though, 65 to 51. So they're moving on to the championship game. Defending champion Doherty taking on Wachusett in the other semifinal. First quarter, Doherty on the miss, but Kalu Anya is there for the putback, and we're all tied up. Then Wachusett's Trent Mascara for three, smooth like Scott Wedman. Instant offense. Wachusett up by two. Wachusett's Sam Dion with a sweet scoop. Mountaineers up four. Noah Callery, QB1. The leaner. Doherty down by two. Dion had a big night. He had 19 points. Here's three of them. Watch you sit up by five. He was also a perfect 10 for 10 from the free throw line was Dion. Mascara, three. He had 10 points. Mountaineers up by eight. Joey Nuttall. Good friends with some of those Doherty guys. Big game for him. He had 11. Power move for Nuttall. Liam Griffin to Hunter Johnson for the layup. Johnson had 18 points. Wachusett's up by seven. Second quarter. Doherty's John Forson ahead to Malachi Delgado. Delgado up and in. Not enough, though. Wachusett's 17 of 18 from the free throw line as a team. The Mountaineers win it 67-43. They will face St. John's in the finals on Saturday. Aspen Valley taking on Northbridge in the finals of the Aztecs Holiday Classic. Aztecs up for first quarter. Aspen's Jeffrey Hunter denying the Rams, not once but twice. He was a human eraser. Aspen's Jerry McManus pulling up for three, following his own shot, gets his rebound, puts it back. He had 17 points. Aztecs by six. Hunter with another huge block. Northbridge's Jefferson Vermouth. Vermouth. Getting the rebound, putting it back, Rams within four. McManus feeding Hunter. Spins his way to the hoop, Aztecs by 10. McManus alley-oop to Hunter for the throwdown. Hunter showing you all facets of his game. Three, he can do it all. Aztecs by 15, that's right, Hunter just doing it all. Aztecs, Matt Scanlon with a quick pop under the hoop. Aztecs extending their lead. James Cannon for Northbridge, hits the three. Aspen up big after one quarter. Second quarter, Northbridge's Cameron Boucher to Wormuth. Rams cutting into the lead. James Cannon from beyond the arc. Rams down by nine. Here's Cannon again, kicking it out to Nolan Lebrasseur for three. Rams within six. Hunter, the jumper. He finished with 26 points. And Aspen gets the win in their turn. He's 72 to 50. That's an impressive win for the Aztecs tonight. Uxbridge hosting David Prouty in boys basketball. 2-0 in the first quarter. Prouty, Uxbridge's Andrew Goyette putting the Spartans up one with a three. Prouty's Bryce Bernard answers with a three of his own. Panthers up by two. Harrison Mansfield for Uxbridge making it rain, nothing but net. Tying the game up. Derek Houston with a three. Calling glass. Panthers up by three. Josh Wilcox. Grabbing the ball. Wilcox going up strong with defenders all around him. We're all knotted up early on. Tyler Tedford. Count the basket, and he's fouled. Spartans by three. Uxbridge's Camden Pomeroy from beyond the arc. 
Spartans up by six. Charter TV3 intern and former Uxbridge Hoops standout Joey Dubois helping to call the game. Dubes bringing a level of professionalism to the broadcast. Second quarter, Prouty keeping the three party alive. That's Alex Scove. Now a little give and go. Derek Houston getting the basket. He finished with 10. Uxbridge, J.D. Sidhu under the hoop. Sidhu led the team with 17 points. Uxbridge getting the win, 65-40, your final. Oxford and Bartlett girls basketball as well today. First quarter, it is Oxford's Gina Parmenter for three. Pirates up by three. Oxford's Olivia Clarkson going up strong. The freshman putting the Pirates up by five. Oxford's Hannah Volpe just power into the hoop. That's a good move. Pirates by eight. A lot of balanced scoring with this Oxford team. Clarkson feeding Parmenter. Parmenter knocking down the jumper. Pirates extending their lead to 10. Bartlett feeding Brittany Ward. Good touch on the short jumper. And it's Bartlett with some good passing. An unselfish team. They find Julia Potted Warney for three, and they're down by five. The great Gordy Cook in a Worcester News Tonight hat. The legend getting his due. Bartlett's Allison Gremsky. Good feed to Gabriella Piwawarsik. There you go, folks. O-Town, Parmenter, three. Nothing but net. She had 16 points. Michaela Perry has 13 for O-Town. Oxford gets the win, 55 to 32. So a big day on the basketball court and some great coverage up and down the uh, Central Mass, our viewing area. Absolutely. That's going to do it for us here on Worcester News Tonight. For Kevin Shea, I'm Anna Botari. We'll see you back here tomorrow.